Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Nema Style Yoga. I'm currently in Mazunte, which is on the west coast of Mexico. It's 7.30 in the morning. We're at the beach. It's a beautiful day. And I thought, why don't we get it started with a nice little Pilates workout? So even if you've never done Pilates before, this is a great place to start. Get yourself a mat and we can begin. Starting in a comfortable seated position, rolling the shoulders back, chest is up, taking a deep inhale in, finding length, and exhale, let it go. Inhale, we push the chest forward, roll the shoulders back. You can let the head hang back. Exhale, round the back, push the belly button in, chin to chest. Inhale, push chest forward, shoulders back. Let the head hang back. Exhale, rounding the back, chin tucked chest, belly button in. Two more times. Inhale to open, push the chest forward. Exhale to round the back, chin tucked to chest. Inhale, push the chest forward, let the head melt. Exhale, round the back, chin tuck to chest, and gently release back through center. We'll take the left hand down on the mat. Inhale, right hand lifts. Exhale, melting to the side. Keeping the right hip on the ground, finding some length here in the right side body. Inhale. Exhale, we'll take the right hand behind the head. Inhale to open the chest, push the elbow back. Exhale, rounding the back, elbow to elbow. Inhale to open the chest, push the elbow back. Exhale, rounding the back, elbow to elbow. One more time. Inhale to open, finding length. Exhale to close, elbow to elbow. Gently release. Coming back through center, let's switch sides. Right hand comes down, inhale, left arm lifts, exhale, melting over to the left. Really finding length in this left side body. Inhale, exhale, left hand behind the head. Inhale, open the chest, push the elbow back. Exhale, rounding the back, elbow to elbow. Inhale, open the chest, elbow back. Exhale, rounding the back, elbow to elbow. One more time, inhale to open, finding length. Exhale to close and gently release. We'll take the hands in front of us as we come to our tabletop position. Shoulders, shoulders over wrists, knees hip width distance. On the inhale, we're going to extend the left leg up. And when you're ready, extending the right arm. Inhale, finding length. Exhale, elbow to knee. Keeping the chin tucked to the chest. Inhale, finding length. Exhale, elbow to knee. Beautiful. Inhale, finding length. Exhale, elbow to knee. And let's extend out. You can drop the right arm, keeping the left leg up, and we'll bend the left knee. Keeping the toes pointed, we're going to come down halfway and pulse back up. I really want you to think about the glutes here. Working on the glute, we have three. Last two. Last one. We'll extend the left leg, placing it down on the mat, bringing right leg behind. As we come up to our side gate stretch, left hand on the left thigh, right arm comes up and over. Getting a nice stretch in the right side body. And let's release, right hand comes down, stretching the left side body. And gently release back to our tabletop position. Finding our tabletop position, we'll extend the right leg out, and when you're ready, extending the left arm in front, keeping the chin tucked to the chest. Inhale, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend. 
Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, beautiful job. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, extend, we can drop the right arm. Bend in the right knee, coming down halfway and pushing back up, keeping the toes pointed, working on our glutes here, getting the spine muscle connection. We have three. Last two. Last one. We can drop the right leg out to the side. Coming up, side gate stretch, right hand, right thigh. Left arm comes up and over. Getting a nice stretch here and release. Switching sides, left hand down, right arm comes up and over. Stretching the right side body and gently release. Finding our tabletop position, we'll tuck the knees, send our hips up. Finding our downward dog. I invite you to walk it out here. Finding some intuitive movement in your downward dog. Bending one knee at a time. And looking between the hands. Bending both the knees. Step forward to come to your forward fold. Let your body hang heavy. You can take hold of opposite elbows and sway from side to side. And gently release. We'll open up the feet a bit wider than shoulder distance, turning them outwards as we come down to our yogi squat. Elbows pushing knees away, hands come to heart center, finding length in the spine. We'll take a deep inhale in. Exhale, let it go. We'll take both the hands to the ground. With the right hand, I'm pushing the right knee away. And the left arm, I'm opening up to the sky. Getting a beautiful opening here. A little stretch in the inner right thigh. And gently release. Let's switch sides. I'm pushing my left knee away with my left hand as I open my right arm up. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Placing the hands behind. Coming to sitting. Keeping the knees bent. Placing my hands behind me with the fingertips facing forward. Feet are at hip width distance. On the inhale, we're going to lift up reverse crab. Let the head drop. And gently release back down. So we're engaging the glutes as we come up. And we're working on the arms here. Inhale, lift. Exhale, calm down. Inhale to lift. Exhale, coming down. One more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, coming down. Coming back down to seated. Rolling back just enough until you feel your core activating, making sure our back is straight. So this is the first option. If you'd like to go another step, we take the feet off the ground. RV pose. Relaxing shoulders. We're going to tap the toes and extend. So really just going as much as you can here. Even if it's just tapping the toes, you don't need to extend all the way. We have three, two, last one. And let's roll back. Two lying, taking your time vertebrate by vertebrate, rolling all the way down on the mat, keeping the knees bent, feet are at hip width distance. You should be able to slightly touch your heels with your fingertips. We're going to come up to our bridge series on the inhale, tucking the tailbone in, sending the hips all the way up, engaging the glutes, keeping the ribs down low, and then slowly coming down vertebrate by vertebrate. Again, rolling up, squeezing at the top, and slowly coming down, making sure the knees are aligned with the hips, that they're not going in or out. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. We have three more. 
Squeeze at the top. Last two. Beautiful work. Last one. We're going to meet at the top and hold here. Coming down halfway with the glutes. And then squeezing at the top. We have ten. Nine. Beautiful work, guys. Keeping the knees aligned, squeezing the glutes as much as you can at the top. We have five. Weight is on the heels, four. Beautiful, last two. Squeeze at the top. Last one, slowly rolling down, vertebrate by vertebrate, hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little hug. You can bring the head up to the knees, curling up like a ball. And when you're ready, we'll make our way back up to seated, rolling up and down until you find some momentum to come all the way up so we can end this practice. Just like we did in the beginning of class, sitting up tall with a straight spine, rolling the shoulders back, chest is up. Taking a deep inhale in, exhale, let it go. We'll take the hands to heart center. You can take this moment to thank yourself for showing up, for moving your body, and I thank you for sharing this time with me. I will see you all next time. Namaste.